authentication is very important for cyber security. Moreover, authentication is one of the primary principles of information security. What is user authentication and why user authentication is important? Basically, authentication is the process of confirming the identity of a person. User authentication identifies and differentiates a genuine user from an illegitimate user. The purpose of authentication is to ensure that the rendered services are accessed only by a legitimate user and not by anyone else. Today, many civilian applications need accurate automatic personal identification. For example, the passport verification, cellular telephones, automatic teller machines, ATMs, driver licenses and many e-commerce and mobile applications. Here, user authentication is very important and security has become popular because of the arrival of new upcoming technologies and increased emphasis on the privacy of the information stored at various places, for example, various databases. Since internet facilities have global access, it has increased the chance of intrusion and hacking of confidential data. The first and foremost step in preventing unauthorized access of information and information security is user authentication. User authentication is defined as the method to verify the identity claimed by an individual and is performed in almost all human to computer interactions. There are different types of user authentication methods available. Let us see. Before that, let's try to understand the difference between authentication and identification. They are basically different. That is, authentication and identification are different. When identification identifies a person, authentication provides secret information to authenticate their identity. The authentication approaches can further be classified into three types based on what the user knows, has and is. We will see one after the other. What the user knows? This is knowledge based authentication method. For example, your passwords, PIN, passcodes etc. What the user has is possession based authentication. For example, the memory card, the smart card tokens. The third one, what the user is, is known as biometric based authentication. Example to this are fingerprints, iris, face recognition and keyboard dynamics etc. In other words, based on authentication factors, the identity of a person is classified. Accordingly, the user authentication is classified into three categories. Namely, as we saw earlier, knowledge based authentication, object based authentication or possession based authentication. It is also known as token based authentication and the third one is biometric based authentication. Among these authentication mechanisms, the biometric methods gain importance as the other two may be lost or forgotten. We will see one after the other. The first one is knowledge based authentication. It is a highly used type of authentication mechanism because knowledge based authentication is based on something the user knows. Passwords come under this category. Passwords are widely used because they are simple, inexpensive and portable. Other examples of this type are passphrases, graphical passwords and personal identification numbers in other words known as PINs. Digital certificates and digital signatures are also used to verify and authenticate in a networking environment. Here security is provided using public key 
infrastructure. Passwords are very simple and if used correctly, it can protect the applications from unauthorized users. But it is tough to recall if the user has to use it for more number of applications. Passwords are easy to guess and they are easy to crack. Sometimes they are difficult to guess and difficult to crack too. Moreover, most users have multiple passwords for different systems and applications, forcing them to remember several passwords. Some users, for being easy to remember, they use their names or initials as passwords which are easy to crack. If the same password is used for more than one application also, it is not secure. So to improve password security, some rules are framed and followed. Following are the one. Passwords should not be shared and should not be written down. Next, the number of unsuccessful authentication attempts should be limited by the system. Third, passwords should never be stored in clear text. They should be encrypted or hashed. To prevent password theft, this is happening nowadays quite commonly. One-time passwords are used for authentication purpose. For example, while using smart cards, online payments, we get this OTPs. Passwords may be of different types. They may be categorized as primary or secondary. It is used as primary if the system provides access to information system resources and secondary for sensitive applications. For primary passwords, system generated or user generated passwords can be used. Secondary passwords are mainly applied for overcoming the difficulty of remembering the passwords. For example, the question and answer methods. The question and answer method again is of two types. One is known as cognitive passwords and the other one is known as associative passwords. Cognitive passwords are based on opinion based questions and associative passwords are based on word associations. According to password generators, passwords can also be further classified into three types. They are the strong passwords, weak passwords and medium passwords. Even though the passwords can be strong or weak or medium, they are one of the very poor forms of authentication because they can be easily cracked or hacked with the following attacks. These are known as attacks on passwords. They are guessing, brute force attacks, dictionary attacks, shoulder surfing and keylogger attack. Apart from the above attacks, passwords have also have several other challenges like User may have multiple passwords or a password that needs to be continuously changed which are very hard to remember by the user. Strong passwords are also hard to remember which may lead to dictionary attacks. Medium and weak passwords can easily be hacked or cracked. So these are the limitations of password based authentication mechanism. Thank you.